Excellencies, distinguished participants, small island developing states are a special case for sustainable development, owing to their multidimensional vulnerabilities. These vulnerabilities are recognized through a number of global frameworks, the Samoa Pathway, the 2030 Agenda, the Paris Agreement, and the Sendai Framework. However, persistent challenges remain when it comes to implementation. What is becoming increasingly clear is that SIDS need a different approach that can ensure better outcomes and help to forge more resilient and accelerated development pathways. The Samoa Pathway is now in its concluding years and progress on achieving the SDGs is faltering. And so we need to fashion an ambitious new agenda for the SIDS, a more innovative and result-oriented one. We must also mobilize and effectively use scaled up development financing. Enhancing SIDS access to concessional financing is an important piece of this work. And we anticipate that the development of the multidimensional vulnerability index, which my office supports, will play a critical role in addressing this issue. We also need cooperation support that truly recognizes the special needs of the SIDS, cooperation that helps to build resilience and fund transformative development. This is why the work on increasing the impact of development cooperation in the SIDS is so important. Excellencies, my office, as a part of the virtual secretariat supporting this work, has long recognized the need to further highlight and prioritize areas of focus for development cooperation in the SIDS. On that note, we are working very closely with our colleagues in the OECD, UNDESA, and UNDP to support this agenda. Together with AOSIS, Canada, and the United Kingdom, as well as other development partners, we have helped articulate how the existing principles of effective development cooperation can be applied to the SIDS context. And we're happy to celebrate together this important milestone today with the launch of the guidance document, improving development impact in small island developing states, implementing effective principles. Distinguished participants, dear colleagues, our work is, however, far from being over. As this document makes it abundantly clear, what matters now is action. The continued engagement of all of us here today will be crucial in taking these proposed actions forward. Together, we must ensure that all relevant stakeholders put in place the policy and institutional arrangements to make our collective sustainable development efforts a success. The fourth international conference on SIDS is coming up in 2024. The preparatory process for that conference provides an excellent opportunity to mainstream these issues into the development of a new sustainable development agenda for the SIDS. My office stands ready over the course of next year to continue our work in this context, including with respect to coordination of the UN in this effort. On this, we, you can be assured of my unwavering support. Congratulations again to everyone who has contributed to the report, excellent report we launched today. And I look forward to working with you all to make these recommendations a reality. I thank you.